close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Don't go anywhere else. Just stay right here. You want to make up your mind you're going to do something good, and then you want to stick with it. It's this quality of truthfulness that makes all the difference. We can read about the Buddha's teachings. We can try them a little bit. But it's only when you really give yourself to them that you understand their true benefits. When he talks about generosity, you actually go out and are generous. When he talks about virtue, you actually observe the precepts. When he talks about bringing the mind under some control, you get your mind under control. And that's when you begin to see the benefits. So once you realize that these are good things to do, okay, you be true to that decision. Because the mind is like a committee. It's got lots of different voices. And some of the voices will say, no, I'd rather think about this, think about that. And they're waiting to ambush you. As soon as your mindfulness lapses, they ambush you and take you off someplace else. So you've got to be wary. You've got to be alert all around. As I would have said, there are three qualities you need to develop. One is mindfulness, which is that you're able to remember what your original decision was. And then alertness, you're watching what the mind is actually doing. Is it with the breath? Is it not with the breath? And how is the breath? Does the breath feel comfortable? If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. This brings us to the third quality, which is ardency. You want to do this well, and it requires some discernment to do it well. If you see the, the breath, the way you're breathing is uncomfortable, the mind's not going to want to stay. You try to find a more comfortable way of breathing. You try longer, shorter, faster, slower, deeper, shallow, more shallow, heavier, lighter, to see what way of breathing feels best for the body right now. And that gets you interested, and that quality of interest helps, helps you stick with it. If there's no interest in what you're doing, then it's very easy to slip off, very easy to get ambushed. But here we're going to stick with it, and then as you stick with it, things will change inside. You begin to notice little cracks in the mind where you used to slip off in the past, and now you don't slip off anymore. And as a result, your mindfulness gets stronger. You actually are able to remember for longer periods of time. Your alertness gets sharper, and your ardency gets more effective. And as you develop these qualities of the breath, they become qualities that you can take into the rest of your life as well. You make up your mind you want to do something good, okay, you remember that, you stick with it. That's mindfulness. And then you're alert to make sure that you really are following through, and you're ardent to do it well. If you have these qualities in the mind, then whatever task the mind applies itself to is going to come out a lot better. So be true in giving rise to these qualities within yourself, and the benefits of that truth will help you to find the truth inside, the truth of what the Buddha said, that it, true happiness can be found through our own efforts in terms of generosity, virtue, the meditation. And that the happiness that these things provide is more than enough. This is a good kind of happiness to have, the happiness that comes with wealth and status and praise. It creates divisions in the world, because when some one person gains, the other person has to lose. But the happiness that comes from generosity, virtue, meditation, nobody has to lose, everybody gains. Which is why this is a kind of happiness that actually creates harmony in the world. So you do your best to find the true happiness that comes from being true like this.